The Pennsylvania Railroad Class T1 Duplex Drive 4444 steam locomotives, introduced in 1942 and produced until 1946, were the last and most controversial steam locomotives built for the Pennsylvania Railroad. They were technologically advanced, powerful, fast, and distinctively streamlined by Raymond Lowy. However, they were prone to wheel slip, complicated to maintain, and expensive to run. The Pennsylvania Railroad decided to replace them with diesel locomotives on all express passenger trains in 1948. The T1 locomotives were developed after the Pennsylvania Railroad realized their existing K4s locomotives were underpowered for increasing train lengths. Other railroads were developing more powerful passenger train locomotives, prompting the Pennsylvania Railroad to innovate. The T1s were duplex locomotives, splitting the driving wheels into two sets, each with its own pair of cylinders and rods. This design allowed for higher speeds and reduced track wear. But it also had drawbacks, such as the poppet valve's inability to withstand sustained high-speed operation. The first two prototypes were built in 1940, and despite teething problems, favorable test reports led to a production order for 50 T1s. The last production T1 entered service in 1946. They were powerful, regularly developing over 5,000 horsepower and covering over 8,000 miles a month. However, their complexity made them difficult to maintain, and they were prone to wheel slip if not handled carefully by the engineer. Inadequate training for engineers transitioning to the T1 and faulty spring equalization were identified as root causes of wheel slip. The production fleet's spring equalization was adjusted to help solve this problem. In 1948, the Pennsylvania Railroad decided to dieselize all first-class prime trains, leading to the downgrading and eventual scrapping of the T1s between 1951 and 1956. In 2014, a nonprofit group known as the T1 Trust began restoring a T1 using the original plans with subtle performance improvements, aiming to provide mainline excursion service by 2030. The construction of the new T1, number 5550, is following methods pioneered by other restoration projects, with several major components already completed.